Premier, you mentioned the Chief Health Officer earlier. There are reports today that the Hotel Quarantine Inquiry has requested further documents from DHHS after senior public servants pointed to correspondence that indicates that Professor Sutton knew about security guards in hotel quarantine in late March or early April, yes. despite the fact that he gave written and verbal evidence to the inquiry that he didn't know that they were working there until clusters emerged in late May. Yes. Firstly, is there a reason Professor Sutton isn't here today? And secondly, given um, that he reports indirectly to you, are you confident that the evidence that he gave to the inquiry was true and correct? Well, a couple of points. There's, uh, there's no connection between those reports which I have seen. Um, I know not much more than those uh, reports. And that's not a great surprise on the basis that this is a matter between the Chief Health Officer of the Department and the Board. So I can't offer any commentary on that. Uh, as to his appearance here or non-appearance here today, that's not got anything to do with those uh, matters. Uh, he's very busy off doing the work that we all need him to be doing, um, both he and Alan and others, uh, running numbers, looking at case notes, trying to make uh, projections, really difficult projections about what what will the impact be if we take you know, steps A, B, C on Sunday, uh, how far can we push it and still be safe? How much can we give back to the community and still be safe? Uh, that's the work he's doing. Uh, and I will boldly predict he'll be doing that today and he'll be doing it tomorrow and all of us will be assisting him in that. And are you confident that the evidence that he gave... Oh, sorry, I missed your question. Uh, yep. I have no reason not to be, uh, but those matters are being followed up by the board. I've got no reason to be anything other than confident in his skills and experience and his commitment to uh, playing his important role.